I'm Juliana Ibrahim, a Malaysian living in the Netherlands. If you've been taking time to watch my previous vlogs, thank you so much. If you're new to the vlog, welcome! It's super great to see you here. And when you get to the end of the video and you like what you see, remember to press the like button, leave in a comment and subscribe. In my last vlog, I spoke about making wholesome connections as a first step to adapting and integrating in a new surrounding. It can be very challenging when you don't know anyone in the new country you live in and a lot of people head down to the embassy to meet other people from their own country and meet new friends there. After all, it does shorten the bridge and you feel somewhat closer to home. It helps if you've moved due to work, which means you're granted a ticket to at least being acquainted with the people you work with. And as for me, I moved here with my husband and became a stay-at-home mom. So my choices were rather limited. And I mean, I was happy to be introduced to my husband's friends and the people he knew, but it wasn't the same thing as having your own friends. What I think is rather helpful is to join a club or a community that you're passionate about. The choices are limitless from learning a new course to attending the local gym, a book club, a cooking club. Hey, I actually created one, but we can talk about that later. Uh, for example, in my first two years, I decided to volunteer in a local yoga studio. I mean, I knew that being there would re would, would, would connect me to like-minded people sharing a common interest. I didn't go there to make friends per se, but to break the ice and be around people who I might feel comfortable with. I get to meet people and at the same time, I get to spend my time doing something I really like. And through this yoga studio, I was actually recommended by someone who knew me there and was then given the opportunity to substitute teaching yoga at a local gym. How great is that? <laughs> patience and a lot of courage to just go out there and make friends. I found it really challenging in the beginning because in all honesty, not everybody you meet on the school ground is interested to immediately go out for a coffee or lunch with you. Unlike in Malaysia, spontaneous breakfast meets aren't the usual here. A lot of things are planned ahead and over time, yes, you will find a mother or two or three if you're lucky where you end up being really, really good friends. But do not expect this to happen overnight and do not be disheartened with the rejections. Building new friendships can take time and most most importantly, we need to remember that we aren't everybody's cup of tea and they aren't ours too, so that's okay. Being Malaysian, one of the things I enjoyed most was hosting a makan party. Since food reminds me so much of Malaysia, I'd often invite friends for lunch or dinner to try out our Malaysian cuisine. The other would be to just make some extra food and pass it to the neighbors or friends. I remember when I was much younger, my mother and her friends would send food to each other's house. They would often somehow have extra food to pass over and I would always get so excited when I see an auntie coming over to bring us some food. My house is somewhere always open and if you're lucky, you definitely get something to eat. You want to come to my house? I cook, okay? 